Hey there, y'all. Bunkle here. Hope you've been having a great day. Hope every day is a blessed day for you and y'all. So, I was thinking, it's been a little while since I did a Battle of the Packs. And I got a bunch of 2007 Series 1 and Series 2 sitting over here on the side. And I figured, you know what? Why not? I've been having fun doing 2007s. There's a lot of great stuff in these packs. So, I'm going to do a Battle of the Packs. Now, it's going to be three packs of the Series 1 Hobby Edition. Again, five packs of the Series 2. Now, why am I doing it that way? Well, each one of these packs got 10 cards. So you got 10, 20, 30. And you got five packs of Series 2. So 30 cards against 30 cards. I figured that that kind of makes it even. Now, the Hobby Edition, is it's got a slight advantage as far as great pulls that are possible. Being that the Hobby Edition has these cards that are lettered in red on the back as opposed to the typical white that you'll see. Now, a couple of those are very, very highly collectible. In Series 1, you have the big card, okay? That's the Derek Jeter, okay? Now, they, they kind of, Tops kind of played like a little prank on collectors where they had a Jeter card with George Bush and Mickey Mantle in the stands. Now, that that is the hot card. Now, if you find the one that's red back, now nobody knows exactly the quantity or how, how, how short print they were, but the red back Jeter, Bush, and Mantle, okay? The most recent sale on that was 7500 bucks. Now, Series 2, okay, that has, that may have, that could have, that might have the Barry Bonds, which was also card number 661. It was super duper duper short print because of this whole contract negotiation and all this other stuff. So it was kind of a last-minute add-in. It was supposed to be a 660-card set. Barry Bonds is 661. Okay, That's the highest-value card in Series 2. A uh, bit over two grand. So very, very nice hit that could be. There's also gold and copper cards. The gold are number 2007. The uh, coppers, if I'm not mistaken, are number two, something like 56 or 57. Uh, you have a bunch of possible other inserts and all sorts of great stuff like that. If you're looking at other cards that have PSA value outside of the Barry Bonds and the Jeter Bush Mantle, Gold or Redback, uh, the Griffey Jr., Chipper Jones, the standard, the base Jeter Bush and Mantle, okay? Frank Thomas, Tom Glavin, Joe Maurer, Ichiro. Uh, there's a couple different Ichiro cards. There's a couple varieties of Troy Tulowitzki throwing or batting, I believe. Uh, there's a couple cards that are with signature or without signature, being Yadi Molina and uh, Alex Gordon, of all people. So other people to take a look for, other cards to take a look for. Now, all the cards that I mentioned in a PSA 10, they're somewhere north of 100 bucks. okay? So all definitely, if it's perfectly centered and perfectly edged and perfectly glossy and all that great stuff absolutely worth trying to send in to see if you'll get a 10 on it now unfortunately if it's a nine well then that's not anywhere near as good uh i mean the, the price drops immensely incredibly now with the black border that these cards have getting edges perfect and corners perfect is near impossible thus the high psa value um, I mean, if you, if you take a look at the Griffey Jr., just as one example, card number 50. And a PSA 10, the most recent sale is 512 bucks. Now, that was uh, an eBay sale made, of course, by Four Sharp Corners uh, not too long ago. In May, that was. If you take a look at a P the most recent PSA 9, now, sure, you know, it's, it's kind of, the market's been kind of up and down and all around, but... The PSA 9 of the same one, it was sold, the latest one was sold October 18th, 2022 for 56 bucks. So literally one-tenth the price. <coughs> anyway, let's get started here. And I'm going to start off with the Series 1. I'm going to do one Series 1, then two of Series 2. Now, on that side is going to be Series 1 cards. On that side is going to be Series 2 cards. Let's see what kind of great stuff we find here. And I'm going to kind of go try to go gentler than normal on the Wall of Fame. I, I don't want to put up stuff there that maybe shouldn't or possibly shouldn't belong. But it is at my discretion, of course. It's my Wall of Fame, not yours. 
Let me know, though, if I pass by anybody that you would put on your Wall of Fame that I didn't put on mine. So we're starting off with Omar Vizquel. Got Boston Red Sox team. Chris Marvison. Oh, I see something really good there. Mickey Mantle. Now tell me that's not a great hit. That's a phenomenal hit. Number seven. Great card there. Great, great card. Nice way to start this and keep it going. Got Chin Ming Wong. Got a gold numbered card. Phil Garner. Now, I, I should probably put him up on the wall just because it's a gold. It's a numbered card, you see. All the way to 2007 there. Otherwise, he wouldn't be going up there. Got Vladdy. Nice Vladdy card. Ooh, and it's a red back. Ooh, yeah. So you're going to get frappered. Definitely. Brett Cliven. And, of course, we got to get a checklist. I mean, what, what what's life without getting the checklist in a pack? Come on. Every opening, I am the king of checklists. I am the self-proclaimed king of checklists. Got Rafael Soriano. And we got Phil Nevin. So let's get a couple of these frappered up here. Got the Vladdy. Great Vladdy card there. Very nice. And anytime you pull a Mickey Mantle card out of a pack, you know, I've said that so often. You get one of the classic legends. Yeah, absolutely. This is a great one. Card number seven. We get a top load for that bad boy also. So, Series 2 is going to have a tough time keeping up with getting the two Hall of Famers and a numbered card. And uh, one of those Hall of Famers is one of those hyped Redbacks. So, very nice there. And yeah, the numbered card I'll keep. I, I guess I'll just keep it in the pocket. Alright, we can get those off to the side. Now, were there, were there any other Redbacks in there? I don't think I saw one. Oh yeah, there was. Okay, I'll keep that one on the side for later usage. Not anybody that I'd be collecting or y'all y'all might be collecting. But that might go up uh, on one of my eBay listings. Uh, I'm thinking about putting something up there for Redback cards for anybody who's looking to complete their set of Redbacks. Figure why not? There's going to be people out there that are definitely looking to, to complete that set too. It's a cool alternative set. So we got Sean Hen. Hideki, Hideki Okajima. Oh, a smile on you, dude. But you don't go on the wall. We got the Minnesota Twins. Nice team card there. Ooh, big hit there. Griffey Jr. Sweet card. That's the one I mentioned earlier. Now in a 10, that's about 500 bucks. So that's a real nice card there. And the Marte. And Mark Katze. So... Only one big hit in that pack, but that, that's a real nice card. I, I got to take that under the scope later and check edges and corners and all that. But that right there, you know what? Even in a 9, that, that's worth grading, especially right now with uh, PSA having... Well, it's not for 2007, if I'm not mistaken. It's only for 80s, and I think 80s and 90s cards. Are, that, that's 15 bucks a card, so got to keep that in mind. All right, so we got that one. Now we're going to be doing a second. Just to keep it fair. Now I know that there's more cards open so far from Series 2 than Series 1. But at the end, it's going to be 30 against 30. So it'll it'll start to even itself out. All right, who we got in this second pack now? We got Levali Spigner. Spigner. We got... Chris Young. Ooh, okay. Distinguished Service. Warren Spahn. Nice card there. That's Wall of Fame. Yadi Molina. Okay, now this is the variety that does not... Wait, no, it does or doesn't it? I can't tell. Does that have a signature on there? Yeah, it does. Okay, so this is the with signature version. Not too long ago, I pulled the without signature version. So, in these packs, I got both. That's very cool. Got Tom Gorolani and Bobby Jenks. Let me take a quick look. See, I think I... Nope, it's not there. I have it over there on the other side stack. So you're going to get frappered. And if I'm not mistaken, the width signature 
is the higher valued variation. So, and I, I know I've pulled multiples of these, so absolutely cool. Yeah, the Yachty Molina with signature, there was a signature, there goes the autographical, is a bit over 100 bucks. So, very nice pull there. But I, I think I think Series 2 is keeping pace with Series 1 here, that's for sure. I mean, you got two, got one Hall of Famer, you got the higher valued variety card, you got the Distinguished Service Hall of Famer, so I think it's pretty evenly matched so far. I mean, how, how are you going to go between Spawn and Mantle? You got Vladdy and Griffey. Griffey takes that one. I mean, Vladdy was great, but Griffey's better. And, uh, yeah, so, so far, so good. I mean, this is this is pretty cool. Now, if you're talking about card cards, well, you know what? Griffey, Griffey versus Mantle, I think that's a that's, that, that, that's game. Vladdy versus Molina. Vladdy, better player. Molina, though, that that's, again, the variety card there. That That's the bigger deal. And then you got the gold card versus Spawn. So it's a toss-up so far. Back to Series 1 here, and I'm going to be doing one pack now of Series 2. So again, I said it was going to even out. It's going to be even Stevens. Even Stevens all the way. We'll see if there's some other kind of special hit there, because that, that right there will throw the balance off completely. Okay, we got Kevin Young, Wookie card. Not around much longer than that, though. St. Louis Cardinals team card. Seattle Mariners team card. No red card there. Scott Rowland, 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 Rowland. No red card. Nick Punto. Hobby Masters. Freddie Sanchez. Yeah, no. Okay. You might have been a Hobby Master, but not very long. Got Cincinnati Reds. And it's the red card, so I'm going to keep that on my side. Because, again, I, I'm looking together, looking to put together that listing. So, got Manny being Manny there. All right, that's a fun card. And that's the red Manny being Manny. All right, very cool. Hideki Matsui, Go Go Godzilla. Younger card of his. I mean, he was great in Japan. I mean, it, him and other players, that, that that's all about Shohei Otani now, because... I mean, Hideki came over and he was good. He was not as great as he was in Japan, but he definitely, his skills definitely did transfer over somewhat. Not, not totally, but somewhat. All right. Now we got our one pack of 2007 Series 2. So not much on the Wall of Fame there, although I am keeping a couple on the side, those red cards. We got our series two now. Who we got in here? We got Chan Ho Park, Adam Dunn. Oh, trading places. Aubrey Huff. Okay. Cool, but not Wall of Fameable. Okay. Opening day. Arizona Diamondbacks versus Colorado Rockies. Yeah. No, I don't think you're going to be in the wall. No. It's nice finding the opening day cards, though. Okay. Propaganda. Brad Wilkerson and Mark Katze. Now, I don't know why I'm checking the backs because, again, the red cards are only in hobby packs. So now we got the last three here. Got the Series 1 and the Series 2, two of those. I think I'm going to start with the Series 2. So in my mind, we got two on two here. And we'll see what these last two packs have. Maybe I'll do one of these and then the, then the Series 1 and then go back to the Series 2. Yeah, that might be might be a little bit more balanced. Okay, we're starting off with Miguel Cairo. Chad Billingsley. Nick Markakis, Generation Now. And, of course, we got a checklist. Now, there's different types of checklists also. You'll see the different color. This one is, the I guess, the red one. There's also the green one, and they, 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 they try to do all sorts of mess at that time. Adrian Beltre, LaRue, and Alex Cora. <clears throat> so once again, not much in that pack. That, that was kind of a dry pack. Let's do the Series 1.
see what we got in here. Starting off with Ryan Sweeney rookie card. Uvaldo Jimenez. Now, was that a red? No, that was not a red. Jimenez, white card. Travis Hefner, white card. Dan Willa, white card. John Rauch, white card. Brandon Webb, Cy Young Award winner. Would you all have remembered? I sure didn't. White card. Morgan Ensberg. Red card, okay. I'm going to keep you off to the side, too. Jeff Conine, another red card. Alan Kuzmanoff. Nope. And Miguel Cabrera wrapping that one up, okay. You're going to go up on the wall. That's a young, young card of you. I mean, not rookie, but uh, what, fourth, fifth year in? I, I think this future Hall of Famer should go up on the wall. He's not a Hall of Famer yet because... He just finished retiring, so give him a few years. He'll be there. He will be there. All right. I mean, so long as we're all still around. All right, we got the last Series 2 pack now. And this is the chance for Series 2 to pull in front. I mean, there's six cards in here. There could be something really great in them. Got Juan Salas, David Eckstein. Kip Wells. Yeah, Marcus Giles. Nah. Okay, one more opening day card. The Blue Jays versus the Tigers. Not thrilled. And Woody Williams. All right, Woody Woodpecker. <coughs> Sorry about that. Had a couple sneezes going on here. Not very cool. So we got it all wrappered up here, all frappered up. And, you know, I, I'd say... Series 1 probably got this, but barely, okay? I mean, getting the, the Vladdy, the Mantle, the Cabrera against the Griffey Jr. Now, the Molina, it's the autograph. It's the one with the with the signature, not without the signature. So it's the higher valued one. So value-wise, I'd say Series 2 took it. But I, I guess player quality-wise, I'll take Series 1. I mean, uh... Get Mantle Cabrera and, and Vladdy there. I mean, you got two Hall of Famers already long time. Uh, one, one seriously vintage classic Hall of Famer and Miguel Cabrera, who's going to be in there. So on the on the flip side, you do also have the Distinguished Service Warren Spahn. So that's also very cool. Now, I'm not sure what the value is on the Mantle. I'm going to look it up while y'all stay here. But let's see where, where you be at. Card number seven, and I have, of course, on my pewter here. I have, I have the 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 PSA card website up. So yeah, I'm not showing much of anything. Okay, you got the mantle gold, the mantle red back. Is he a red back? I don't think so. I don't think I saw that. Nope, he's a white back. The mantle gold uh, definitely has been sent in. And in a PSA 8, it's been graded once at $4.25. Uh, somebody picked that up for So not all that great. Um, I don't see any sales of the standard Mickey Mantle, though. That's pretty weird. Because you would think that if somebody got it graded, it probably would have been uh, probably would have been bought and sold several times, if that. But no, on the PSACard.com website, there is no Mantle. Oh, no, there it goes. Okay, bingo. Sorry, I found it. Yeah, the huge, huge value. Uh, PSA 8 was sold in July for 7 bucks. PSA 9 was sold in January 2022 for $13. And the most recent PSA 10, you got to go way back to 2021. Only 20 bucks. So, eh, value-wise, yeah. PSA, I'd say Series 2 got this one. Anyway, hope you enjoyed. Let me know if I missed anything. Uh, also, make sure you pay attention to my eBay store. If you are looking to get put together a 2007 top set, the red back set, I'm going to be having some of these cards go up there uh, definitely shortly if they're not already there by the time this comes out. Anyway, y'all take care. Stay well. Stay blessed. Bonkle out.